Hey Gemini, and welcome to the second part of your reading. It's going to be your advice reading. We're going to see if there's anything else you need to know at this time, okay? Um, I've never been like more uh, hesitant to get into the second part of my reading than this one because I just really don't want to get into this King of Cups energy again, man. This man is like, they've been in all of these readings. Their stupid little plan, okay? Their stupid little messages here. Let's see if there's anything else you need to know here, okay? Gemini, uh, this person needs to take a hint, okay? They really need to take the hint, okay? It's not happening. Um, <laughs> what else does Gemini need to know here, holy angels? And what's the advice for Gemini? Is there anything else Gemini needs to know? And what is uh, the advice for Gemini? Let's see. Two of Swords, the Star, and the Two of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you rejected this person, man. There's no chance here. This person is feeling salty, okay? They're sitting around. They're all salty now. They're moping, okay? Because you don't want them anymore. Poor guy, right? Go Now, now he's going to go play the smallest violin again. Because he's rejected and no one wants him, Okay. Uh, whatever, this person really needs to grow up. So, tell me about this Two of Swords here. Two, two could be significant. You have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. What is the Two of Pentacles here? Uh, the Two of Swords, I mean, for Gemini. The Queen of Swords. You're like, no way. Look at this. This is you, Gemini. And this is your energy. You're like, no. No passing, okay? You got a chastity belt on for this one. You're like, go away. No way. And it's like, there's no passing here. You got your swords up. This is the sword I was talking about at the beginning of your energy reading where it's like, I just sharpened my sword. You want to come over and test it, King of Cups? Come over here and test this sword that I just sharpened, okay? You're not coming through, man. There's no passage here for you, okay? And there hasn't been. I feel like since you dumped this idiot, okay? No way. No way. Queen of Swords is like, I'm going to... I'm going to say what I need to say. You're not coming near me, man. Okay, take the hint. Stop making up fake storylines, fake messages here. I mean, how pathetic is this person? Yeah, you're like, no, man. I don't want to. You are so defensive to this person. And like I keep saying, not since yesterday. Since the day that you left this person behind out of your life. Long as time ago, okay? You got your defenses up to this person. You don't want to be around this person. You don't know this person. You don't want them near you. You got a fucking chastity belt on when it comes to them, okay? Just like, even just seeing their name is a turnoff. You think you're going to be talking to this person? Hell no. You probably can't even hold a conversation with this person, okay? There's no talking to this person, nothing. Man, within this person has some fucking balls, man. Something with a family situation. They're coming at you with a family situation. Ten of Cups. So I don't know if you have a you have maybe you have children with this person, okay? Uh, tell me about the star. The fool. Tell me about the star, please. So they took some sort of a, um, a risk here and they really thought that they were going to get one up on you with this one here. They went to the emperor, they went to a judge, I guess, and they really thought that they were going to get one up on you. They really thought this one was going to work. Okay. So this is, I'm assuming the messages that they brought. Okay. It was something about you, what, having a one night stand with the king of cups? Hell to the fuck no. Hell to the fuck no. Okay. Whole time they're catfishing you. Hell to the fuck no. It was a lie. Tell me about the two of pentacles. It was all a lie. They made it up in their fucking fantasy. This person is sick as hell. Yeah, Hierophant. And I was just talking about going to the Emperor the Judge, man, with this shit. Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> they... so sick what these people are these people are sick in the head messages this is the messages this is the truth about the messages 
that they brought to someone here, okay? Trying to slander you, trying to make you look bad, trying to ruin your life, trying to ruin your relationship, trying to, whatever this is, set you up, okay? The whole time that they're catfishing you, trying to lure you to a location, they're sending these messages about you having a one-night stand and putting something on a cassette with a king of cups. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay? In your dreams, man. This person lays in... I swear to God, this person lays in bed at night. Okay? This is what they fantasize about. That's nice. Keep fantasizing, King Cups. It's not happening. Okay? Never. In your dreams. Okay? Ridiculous. Yeah. Four of coins. Yeah, this is what they... They hold on to this. They hold on to this in their dreams. Okay? One day. One day. I can lure someone in a trap. This person is sick in the mind, okay? They always have been. That's probably why you dumped them. So what's the two of swords? I can't even make it up, yo. I'm telling you, messages. Messages. Page of swords. Information. Messages. With an empress. Pretending to be you, right? Pretending like you would come off your throne for a measly king of cups. Yeah, right, man. The five of wands saying something about a fight or conflict. So there's something about fighting in these fighting, fighting with a queen of wands. Yeah. You want to go. So is that something else that they said in the messages that you want to go fight a queen of wands? Why the fuck would you fight this queen of wands? Who cares about a queen of wands? About a relationship. Oh, you're going to go fight them. <laughs> Lovers at the bottom. So they said you're going to go fight the queen of wands because of a relationship. Why? Why? No one's gonna go fight the Queen of Wands. No one gives a fuck about these people. They are so, this is how you know they're self-absorbed narcissists because they are completely absorbed with themselves and their own importance, right? They think that they're so important that you're gonna go fight them. No one's gonna go fight anyone, okay? They're not as important as they think they are. This King of Cups thinks he's so important that you would fuck them, hell to the fuck no. They're not that important. A Queen of Wands thinks they're so important you wanna go, f this is, they're making this shit up in their mind, yo. This is their fantasy. This is a fantasy that they're trying to create in the real life. No, but this is not real, okay? This is not real. These people are fucking insane, man. The High Priestess and work, yeah, you know, this is what this was about, right? Someone's work. This is what this is, okay? Saying you're gonna go fight a queen of wands because of a relationship. <laughs> uh, which related, I, th I think the queen of wands wants to fight someone else for a relationship, right? I think, I'm pretty sure it's this queen of wands. Yeah, they're all working together here on this one. Something with a home. I'm pretty sure it's the king of cups and the queen of wands that wanna fight someone, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's them that wanna fight someone, okay? Tell me about this Nine of Wands here. I can't even make it up. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Queen of Wands comes out. That is hilarious, yo. I'm telling you. I am telling you. These people are so crazy, man. <laughs> I can't. The Emperor. This is what they told the Emperor. <laughs> to laugh because they're so this is so funny right their storyline is hilarious to me so they went and told the emperor that you want to go fight the queen of wands <laughs> okay why <laughs> all right because of a relationship yeah because you don't want something to be over like you don't even know i swear to god you don't even have these people's numbers man you don't have them, you don't have their numbers. You don't have any communication with them. You have them, you probably have them blocked everywhere, man. You have, you don't have anything to do with any of these fucking people. How do they think that you are threatening people and communicating here? It's like, that can, you can prove that. You can prove that you don't have any of these people's numbers, that you have them blocked on Instagram everywhere. You have absolutely no, uh, nothing to do with them. Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. What? Something about someone putting someone to sleep with an offer? What is this? What is this Ace of Cups, Four of Swords? It was a, but it was a missed opportunity and you're not bound. They couldn't trap you. 
It was a missed opportunity. They couldn't trap you because the only way that they would have been able to put you to sleep in a bed is by having you roofied first. That was the plan, right? To roofie someone, okay? So that they're immobile, laying in a bed, can't, can't help themselves anymore. So sick. This is what they said to the Seven of Cups. Yeah, inebriated, right? This is how they needed someone. Inebriated, intoxicated, roofied in a bed. So someone can't move and defend themselves. What? And then the King of Cups comes over. You guys are sick as hell. Sick as fuck. And all of this, because they told an emperor this bullshit and they had to get themselves out of this bullshit that they told an emperor. All of the bullshit that they told an emperor. This is what they had to get themselves out of. Yeah? By trying to have someone fucked up in a bed, okay? After giving them roofies and a drink, right? Judgment. Now they're under judgment. This is why they're under judgment. This is why these people are under judgment. Because they have been trying for months to get someone roofied. Inebriated and intoxicated in a bed where they can't defend themselves. Because they need a king of cups to come over and, you know, sexually assault someone while they can't move because they've been roofied and drugged because they need to cover up their lies. These people are fucking sick, okay? Absolutely sick and disgusting to me. This is what they were planning to, this is what they were planning. This is what they were planning. I can't make it up, man, I can't. I know tarot is real. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Two of wands, three of wands. This is what they were planning. These are the steps they were taking for the future. They planned this out. This was a future plan. They planned this tactically. This group working together. This was a group effort. It was a group collaboration. And they planned this out carefully. These steps. Okay. Along with this queen of wands. Now tell me about this ten of cups. The moon, this is what they did in secret. This is what they did in secret, planning someone's uh, sexual assault. Because they thought that this was going to get you trapped. They thought you were they were going to trap you. But the wheel of fortune says, hell to the fuck no, your plan is over. They've been working on this for so long, man. They put so much effort into this betrayal. They have been doing this diligently. Diligently. Daily, probably. Putting so much work into this shit. Okay? This was a long, careful, premeditated plan to betray someone. And, and now they're all stressed out and worried. Paranoid. Why? Because of a king of wands? Or because of your strength? Because you're too strong for the bullshit. You see through this bullshit. Because they were, they were lying, man. Because they lied about everything. They lied. This was a setup. They lied about everything. They lied about the King of Cups. They lied about you wanting to fight a Queen of Wands. They lied about your relationship. They lied about everything. Everything was a fucking lie. All of the evidence they turned in was fabricated and made up. They made it themselves, man. They made all of this evidence by themselves. They created these fake messages on their own. They lied. They did this with a relationship, the lovers. They lied about lovers. They lied about having lovers, you being a lover, whatever, having a relationship, the whole nine yards. Now, what is this uh, star? <clears throat> Eight of Cups. You walked away. You walked away and now they can't get out of something here? Because you have walked away and you have a new beginning and you are someone that has healed yourself, they are not going to be able to get out of something because you're healed. You've healed yourself. You're a star. You're very inspirational. Okay. You believe in your faith. You believe in your purpose. You're having a new beginning. You walked away from something. You followed your own happiness here. You're walking towards your own personal fulfillment, okay? 
You're walking towards your dreams, your wishes, your wishes, your dreams come, your dreams are coming true. And now they feel like they can't get out of something because you are not involved in this mess. You're not, you're not attached to them at all. Now, what's this fool that they, they this risk that they took here? Oh, they're so stressed out. Oh, now, yeah, this has come out twice now. They are so stressed out and paranoid about the fear, uh, about the fear, about the risk that they took because it was to set someone up and it didn't work. And it was all lies, okay? So why is the Five of Swords uh, in reverse now? Now they're defeated. King of Swords, now they're defeated here. They're defeated with some sort of a bright idea that they had. Their bright idea, yeah. Their bright idea that they had here. Now they're defeated. Because of a hermit. Because of... Yo, this could even... King of Swords and the Hermit. Wait a minute. Is this what you're trying to tell me? It's the undercover police. <laughs> now they're defeated because they're being investigated in secret. <laughs> There's a secret investigation. I'm like, is this what you're trying to tell me? The Ace of Swords. Oops. Oh, so they were secretly being investigated. There was undercover police watching them. Oops. There's an undercover detective here. A king of wands. There's an undercover, there's an undercover agent here watching them secretly. And now they're at something because of lovers. And now they've been defeated and found out because of giving and receiving money justice. And now justice is coming in. Woo! Powerful. Justice. Karmic justice. My heart is beaming right now. You can maybe see it in my face. Karmic justice here. Justice is about to be served here, Gemini, because of an undercover agent. This is an undercover police officer right here that watched them do something. I asked, is this what you're trying to tell me? The Ace of Swords came out. Why, why is the three of swords here? Heartbroken. Oh, oh, this queen of pentacles. <laughs> this queen of pentacles. Her life is about to change forever. Wheel of fortune. Her faded day is coming now. She's heartbroken because a undercover police officer watched her do something with money. She was seen doing something with money. She was being watched in secret by undercover police. And now she's heartbroken because she just got caught red-handed, yo. She just got caught red-handed. Wheel of Fortune. Someone just got caught red-handed by, by the secret, by the undercovers, guys. Bad financial news. It was a bad investment. Whatever this girl did with money, it fucked her. It fucked her up. <laughs> That was a bad investment. King of Pentacles. Something with the King of Pentacles. Something with money. So she did something with money. And now she's trapped. Ooh. She's going to jail, man. So Queen of Pentacles is going to jail. Because it's something she did with an offer. So you're telling me the Queen of Pentacles is going to jail? High Priestess in the world at the bottom of the deck. So Gemini, there is a Queen of Pentacles that just got caught red-handed by undercover police doing something with money and this person is now going to jail, okay? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that someone just got caught. Let's see. Tell me more about this, please. Oh yes. They're under judgment. This Queen of Pentacles is now under judgment. Journey, for some sort of a journey that they took. Okay, they got caught on a journey here. Something to do with money, unexpected income in reverse. With a mature woman.
family room in reverse. Something with, about a, a broken family or someone, a great fortune. They just did something that tied them to this, to this great fortune. Oh, and, they're, and now they're concerned about a courtship. A message of concern about a courtship. Someone is trapped though. Someone definitely just got caught red-handed doing something here, Gemini. So I feel like you can, we can all be happy about that one, okay? So tell me about this Two of Pentacles. What is this Two of Pentacles here? Bad health in reverse. Sudden wealth. It has something to do with money and them trying to balance something out with money. And this is why they're going to jail, man. This girl's going to jail for something that she did just did with money. This queen of pentacles did something with money. And someone was watching her do it. She got caught red-handed doing something with money. And she's going to jail. Family room. Something with a family. Something with a family. That just came out twice. Expectation. Because they had some sort of an expectation here. They were expecting something to work. They were expecting their setup to work. So they did something with money and then they got caught. That's what I feel. That is honestly what I feel. Tell me more about this two of pentacles. There was something watching her. She didn't know. Photograph. With photographs. She did something with photographs, trying to balance something out. They were they were trying to balance something out. That's the two of pentacles. They tried to balance something out with money. They tried to transcend an obstacle here. They tried to transcend the obstacle with some sort of photographs or with screenshots. This was their hand of cards. This is the risk that they took. They took a big risk. They thought that they were being strategic and they took a risk trying to balance something out with photographs or with screenshots, with money. Yeah, they tried to, re they tried to rebuild something. They tried to fix something, persistently working on it. They tried to work on something, fix something, rebuild something, balance something out with money. Okay, what's the devil? Because of a divorce. A divorce? Something with a divorce? The truth about a divorce. Now there's some sort of truth coming out about a divorce. Clarity, truth, revelation. Clarity, there's clarity coming in about a divorce and how someone lied with the devil. Someone lied about a divorce. And there's no and there's no romance blooming, fun flirting, want to date. No, you don't want to date someone, or someone's not dating, or there's no romances blooming. This was all a lie. This was all a fucking made up fantasy lie. Okay. Now what's the um, Knight of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups. A Queen of Cups is also involved with a Queen of Wands. So it's so there's two feminines here that were part of this financial plan. These two are probably the ones that lied about the divorce, right? The the Queen of Wands and then the mother figure, mother-in-law. These two lied about a divorce. Yeah, and this is yeah, and now they're trapped. They're trapped by the lies. They trap themselves in their own lies, man. They are trapped in their own lies and in the money trail because you have the Knight of Pentacles here. It was a money trail. There's a money trail. Yeah, money trail, Page of Pentacles. It's a money trail. It's a fucking money trail. King of Wands in reverse. And now someone is angry. They're so angry, man. Or they did something super impulsively. Yeah, with justice, with the justice system, trying to make you look like you're an empress in the reverse tower. They did something super impulsively out of anger, probably feeling like they're running out of time, probably feeling like, um, you know, they want to win. They were being very aggressive. They 
wanted control, okay, being very controlling and abusive, and they wanted to make you look like you're an empress in the reverse, so you're someone that's distorted, you're the one that's abusive, you're the one that's crazy, jealous, insecure, uh, bash it off the handle or whatever, right? But they lied about a divorce in the past, and now the truth is coming out about a money trail, and they're trapped, yo, because they tried to balance something out here in the last, they tried to do like a Hail Mary, okay? What I'm getting. They tried to hail Mary and it backfired horribly with a relation with a family situation. They tried to hail Mary with a family and a one night stand, Knight of Wands. They tried to hail Mary with a family situation and a one night stand and a setup. Yeah, this is what they planned. Here. Yeah, this is what they planned. Seven of Swords to get away with their crimes, to sweep it all under the rug, to make the problem go away, right? This is what they plan. Yeah, tower. I can't even make it up. Tower. And now something is super shocking and everything is about to fall apart and blow up in their face and backfire onto them, okay? Because it was stupid. It was a, it was an impulsive Hail Mary here to have someone trapped with a one-night stand. Now, what's um, the Hierophant? The High Priestess. Yeah, it's the Hierophant is the police or a judge or something like that. Or it's you, Gemini. Or it's you. Queen of Swords, High Priestess, Hierophant, and the Magician. You are a fucking master manifester, man. You are a magician. You are a magician. This is like Merlin energy, right? Okay? Honestly, this is like Merlin the, the wizard energy right here. Look at that. Queen of Swords, High Priestess, Hierophant, and the Magician. You're so powerful that you don't even need to do a ritual, okay? You have like magic in your fingers, right? This is like Midas touch energy here, okay? Very connected, very intelligent, master creator. You create your own universe, you create your own reality, okay? You're very powerful, you're very spiritual, you're very aligned. You're you're like in the spiritual, but you're also in the in the 3D with the um with the Queen of Swords, because Queen of Swords is very like mind and mental and, um, you know, balanced here in the 3D. What you see, what you know, what you think, okay? Like a scientific kind of a mind, but then you're also very connected to the divine, which makes you, you make it makes you a deadly combo, right? Okay, so <laughs> you're a force to be reckoned with. You're not someone to fuck with, yeah? You're really not, because you're too smart for these people. You are way too intelligent for them. You're extremely intelligent. You could have a really high IQ, okay? You could. So they mess with the wrong one here. They really did. Because it's a. this is the deadly combination. The deadly combination is someone that is extremely intelligent, very logical, very, very smart and logical, but also very spiritual and very intuitive. Extremely intuitive. Extremely connected to the other side. So that makes you a force to be reckoned with. They didn't know who they were messing with, man. They should not have messed with you. They should not have messed with you here. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, 4-4 four, four comes out. 4 of Pentacles, 4 of Swords. You are way too protected for this. 4-4. Four, four. You're protected. You're way too protected for this. Ace of Wands. That's how they try to come at you with the Ace of Wands. They had a bright idea here. And this is what they gave the Emperor. They gave this to the emperor. This is the communication they gave to the emperor. And my candle just went out. The candle just went out. The flame just went out right here at the end of my reading. This is what they gave to the emperor. Something about an ace of wands, something about a one night stand or something like that. And it was a lie. It was a setup. The entire time it was a fucking setup here. And they thought they were so smart, right? They thought they were being so smart. Yeah, I can't even make it up. A one-night stand comes out. Look at that. Yeah, this is what they did. They tried to set you up with a one-night stand. Except, like I keep saying, it would not have been consensual. And someone here didn't even know that this was the plan. Someone here would have been tricked. Tricked. Drugged, roofied, and tricked. Okay? And after that, after this, you know, to silence the victim because the victim did not agree to this, did not know this was going on and would not have been a consensual partner in this, they would have gotten rid of the victim afterwards because they need to get rid of you, right? They can't have you 
walking around speaking the truth on what's going on here. And it was all to cause a breakup separation. Yeah, you avoided them. Good for you. Not today. Not dealing hurt. Avoiding conversation. Call a person. Yeah, you avoided this. I just heard that kid's thing just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> what is that? That's from the wolf. That's from the, the, when the wolf blew the pig's house down. How does that go again? Just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That's how you escape this death trap here. You, you escaped a death trap, man. The phoenix. And you're the phoenix rising, okay? No one can stop you now. Yeah. And now everything's going to be found out. Things are about to come to light here. Things are about to come to light about how you escaped a death trap, okay? By being the phoenix. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. This is what they wanted. This is what they wanted from someone. Like I said, you guys are sick as hell. Not enough at the bottom of the deck. This is what they wanted, a cassette. This. I can tell you what kind of a cassette. This kind of a cassette, right? A one-eyed stand cassette. So sick. Isn't that sick? So they weren't just planning all of this, but they also wanted a trophy. They wanted a trophy of what they did so that they can, what, rewatch it over and over again? How they tortured someone before they died. I mean, how sick is that, right? That's fucking sick as hell for me. Whatever. Let's see. Um, I just want to know here. What is Gemini's advice? I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what your advice. Your advice is that there was an undercover police officer here watching them. Okay? And they got caught red-handed, Gemini. I'm pretty sure that's your advice today. Okay? But let's see, closing words here for Gemini before I dip out. You are not attached to this devil. You're about to be freed from the devil. From the devil's grasp. Yeah, of this knight of wands that's trying to do something to someone here, okay? You're about to have victory and success. Because of a king of wands and an ace of wands. Why? What do you mean? Knight of cups in reverse. The illusions are being lifted here. The Somebody saw through the illusion. Gemini. Someone saw through the illusion. Okay? Someone saw through it. And someone saw that someone was lying. Someone was um, doing something very cold-hearted. Okay? So someone saw through the illusion of what this was here, this Knight of Wands, this Ace of Wands, this One Night Stand here. Someone saw the truth, okay? The authorities did. That's beautiful. Okay. That makes my heart go all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, they caught they caught the queen of pet. Yo, I'm telling you, they caught her. They caught her. They caught her, Gemini. They caught her red-handed. The justice system caught the queen of pentacles red-handed. I swear they did. I swear. I swear they caught the queen of pentacles red-handed. I swear they did. The Hierophant caught the Queen of Pentacles red-handed. I swear they did. And I just got a confirmation on my phone, man. They, they caught a red hand. Yo, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> this is so amazing for someone. This is so amazing for someone. They caught her red-handed, Gemini. They caught her. They caught her red-handed. Where's the Hierophant? Someone caught this Queen of Pentacles in reverse red-handed. I swear they did. And you're protected, okay? Karmic justice is about to come in for you. Oh, it's beautiful. You're going to receive your justice here. They caught her. They caught her red-handed, okay? All right, Gemini, let's see who you're dealing with before I dip out here. Getting goosebumps. 
It's a beautiful day. It's September. They caught her red-handed, yo. I'm telling you, they did. They caught her. July. Gemini. 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 The investigator caught the Queen of Pentacles red-handed, yo. I'm telling you. Accomplice. She's an accomplice. They caught the accomplice red-handed. Accomplice. She's an accomplice. Libra. O October Libra could be significant. I'm so happy for someone here, baby mama. A gang member and a Scorpio. A wife and April. Okay, let's, let's try. Something could, they could have done in April. In law and in May. So in law and in May. So something in April and in May could have happened, okay? In law or with someone's in-laws. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, be happy today. It's a good day. And then <laughs> for someone, for a Gemini, for a certain Gemini out there, okay? And then until next time, bye. Until next time, guys. Bye.